a good year, a good year. I think at the end we achieved our goal. Me personally, I played a lot of games. Yeah. <laughs> Sum up last season, it was literally like a roller coaster. There was so many highs, there were so many lows. Sometimes it was smooth, but then it got a bit rough. I think it felt more than a year because looking at the old, the old squad, the team, the, the media, everyone, all the togetherness, togetherness we had, I think it felt more than a year to be honest. Yeah, I think the team welcomed me very well, the staff too, so it was quite easy to be part of this team and the uh, English football, I was ready I think. I think the support last season was massive. It was more than what I expect. It feels like I've been here for, for years. I think that's just because of like how well I've settled in. Um, normally it takes time to settle in at a club, but I think with this one, especially with the group of lads, um, they've obviously made me feel very welcome and like so of all the other new lads. And yeah, um, feels like I've been here for a long time, but like I said, it's only been a season, so may that continue. And then when you're ready, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> whenever you're ready, just hit that play, mate, OK? Nottingham Forest have confirmed the signing of Nigerian international forward Taiwo Awoni for a club record fee. The 24-year-old coming from Bundesliga club Union Berlin. <laughs> and stabs it back for Lingard, and it's going to be bundled in by Taiwo Awoni! Yeah, I think for me it's really a moment I will never forget because it's a moment I've really dreamed of and uh, scoring the first goal also like uh, it's been achieving my dream in the Premier League, first game at home, scoring in front of the old fans, I think it's something really special. Look at the space for Nico Williams, Gibbs White plays it into Williams, Williams drives, Oh it's yes! In! For a score! It's actually weird because funny enough before the game I had this weird feeling that I was going to score. Because all the time, all the games I played at Liverpool, I never scored once at Anfield. And then my first game playing against them, I had a weird feeling that I'd score. And I said before the game that I would never celebrate. Pulls it back towards Mangala. Mangala yes! tucks it into the Get bottom in there. corner. It's a fabulous goal from Forrest. Beautiful. Wonderfully worked. And gives after that first touch, start after 11 minutes I know. Twice <laughs> I had to. Already. I wait for this few games. Yeah. And it was an important game, so to score the first goal against Leeds in this type of game was for me very, uh, very exciting. Obviously, Liverpool was the first team that signed me into the Premier League, uh, but I didn't get to play any game with them. Or once I signed for Forest, uh, I knew like I'm no longer a Liverpool player and. They are my opponent and scoring against them also. I'm just happy scoring for Forest, to be honest. To win it off uh, Jesus and then a great turn. I love this Mangala. video. Good ball as well. Gibbs White down the left hand side, hits the byline, pulls it across. Williams oh! arriving. Two got in each other's way. That's the dedication. It's actually, yeah, it's actually weird. I had two fractures in my jaw, but never got knocked out. I remember everything. Probably a bad thing. It was so tough because I was finding my feet. It was probably my best games I was playing leading up to that. I felt the fittest I've ever been. I felt comfortable and, like I said, scored against Liverpool. I had confidence from that going into the other games and then the injury hit, but that's just part of being, being a footballer and these things, these things can happen. Once I've done it, my, I thought I was going to be out for months and months, um, but speaking to the doc, he said I, I can be playing again after six or seven weeks, and that six and seven weeks was the Wales game, so I had that motivation to get back fit, get straight into the gym, um, and prepare for them games. And Forrest will have another season of top flight football next season. What a day. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Some scenes out there, Sergio and uh, Oramandola doing a hand count in front of a section of Forest supporters down away to our left. I think there are yeah. some tears out there Definitely. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely one of my special moments in my young football career. <laughs> Probably one of the worst parts about being injured is watching the team and especially in a 
relegation battle as well where we need to win. It was it was tough, but like I said, that just comes down to the team spirit with, with just me on the sideline watching as every single injured lad there, um, supporting, um, doing everything we can to, to help our team. As a team, I hope we will have an even better season to, to fight for even more. Not really stressful like last season. It will be nice. It's been an incredible season, not just for me, for, for the whole team, even the whole staff and everyone in the, in the team. The City Gun, especially the fans, all the great people they've made for us. <laughs> Last season, it was so tough because we had all these new players, the team was changing around, getting to know, getting to know each other, not just on the pitch, but off the pitch as well. Um, but now that's all settled. We've had the season together. We know each other so well now, it's just building on that. I think for me, last season was a season that I will never forget. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>